Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox, and we're going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity. When we last left off, we had uh, talked with this interesting sure. looking uh, fellow right here. Uh, his name is Durrance. He is a, uh, <laughs> a priest, and he's a very irreverent priest at that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he's going to be our primary healer for the duration. Let's be about it. Uh, we are actually going to be heading south. We're going to take a look at the Adra formation. Uh, we're going to be going south, and we're hopefully going to be able to tack on to Enslog's compass. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, not pause. Fast mode active. And here we go. Oh, and we killed everything on this map. We, we punched quite a few things. Let's see burn. Ah, there we go. See? Aslong's, uh, Aslog's compass. Yes, six hours. And if you remember, we have that uh, uh, mission from that one woman in... Uh, uh, that one woman there to actually uh, talk to a person down here? Like, like some sort of a witch doctor or, you know, just a healer that's been uh, outcast from them. Oh, we got some people here. Eggdragon. Two villagers stand by, uh, by one of the tide pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded. They look up nervously as you approach. Well met, friend. If you're here to fish, uh, as as we were, stranger, you'll want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Her name is Tilly. Her companion uh, shakes his head. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here. So we didn't think much of the wreckage until we heard something. A terrible noise. I thought maybe it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly alive. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, what are you two doing out here? F well, fishing, of course, except I lost my fishing rod when I flung at the head of one of those monsters. We were uh, looking. Uh, we were looking the tide pools over and thought we'd try our luck by, down by the rocks. We got the fright of our lives. We'll have to make do with the nets here or go hungry. You said there are a lot of shipwrecks here. The woman nods. All the same, it's it's a lovely pace, but dangerous as anything to sail. Good fishing most days. I I think we'll look further up the uh, further up the coast next time. What do you mean? What what did you see? Corpses, walking corpses. We don't want any part of it, whatever the cause. Maybe we can find something in these tide pools, and then we're headed straight home. Right. Farewell. Good tidings to. Wait, did you hear that? Okay. Okie dokie, charge. I don't want these folks to. No, don't care, little Tilly. Ah. Dang it. Tilly. Well, let's pick up the loot. I'm not going anywhere like this. Gods, what a mess. Thank you for your help, stranger. Okay. Hey there. Oh, and the music for this, if I haven't mentioned it before, the music for this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you get a chance to listen to the soundtrack on your own, uh, like, like in, independent of the game, I would suggest you do so. I'll see what I can find. There's a little thing in there. Ooh, a page from Fulvano's Travels. If you know, we got a note in the previous location. I met a helpful Deerwood woman while in Gilded Vale. She was an invaluable guide during my time in that sorry village and agreed to accompany me some part of the way towards Anslog's Compass. We parted ways in the wilds known as Magrina's Fork, but I gave her my amulet so that she, will, she might remember me fondly. Perhaps I will return to these lands someday after all. Oh, there we go. And we got uh, some turquoise. I have a feeling we're going to run into some more people. Okay. Let's actually... We're not going to go all the way over there. We're actually going to make our way down. Down, down to Goblin Town. Oh, 
I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, let's, uh, crabs and small fish clutch in this pool left behind by the tide. Uh, so we got some more Zarips. Let's just rush on them. So yeah, uh, my, uh, first, uh, tyranny video has, has actually gone up. Um, the, there was some horrendous horrendous uh, uh, video quality there at the very end when I actually switched to the real game proper and I do apologize for that um, easy does it I uh, have since I think corrected the issue the issue is not with my oh got another page from Volvano's travels after several days journey it seems uh, it, it seems it is time thus to part ways with my new traveling companion from New Helmar a pity we could not see the compass together, but perhaps you will have as grand a time in Garen's gasp uh, as in Garen's gasp. I have given him my gloves for safekeeping, for I will hardly need them in such fine weather. <laughs> um, I think I've gotten the issue resolved. Uh, the issue is not with my system, I think, because the game Tyranny played just fine, and it's a brand new game. Uh, but the issue was something with my recording, so I had to fool around with some settings. I think I have it. I think I have it fixed, and I don't know why it is fixed. So I'm definitely not a tech expert by any means. Um, if any of you want to talk it over, that would be great. But uh, it's not. You know, it's not pressing. As long as I have it fixed, it should be okay. Fish and clumps of seaweed, bright green with heat, royal in the stew. It tastes. Pleasantly salty. Ooh, that sounds so good. I love seaweed, by the way. Seaweed roasted seaweed, seaweed snack from Trader Joe's is like my guilt, not guilty pleasure. I take pride in that pleasure. Okay. Ranga, you find yourself facing to, uh, facing toward uh, a towering Amoa woman. Her skin is the warm gold brown of a dying sunset, with pale, fish white patches at the throat and hands. Wavy red-brown hair pulled into tight braids around, the stri uh, around a stripe of bare skin that follows the curve of her skull flows down over her broad shoulders. Greetings. She regards you calmly, evidently unsurprised to find you here at the edge of her camp by the water. Have you come for medicines and craft works, or to share the fire? She gestures at the, uh, to the large cauldron nearby. Mm. Who are you? My name is Rhonda. I lived in Gilded Vale a time, working as a healer and midwife. Perhaps you've been to that place? You'll understand then why I might choose to come south. In any case, it is far more comfortable here, by the shore, where I can be near the water. And I still get visitors from time to time. Perhaps you're in need of something? Uh, what's that Zarek doing here? Who, Tana? He helps me gather in ingredients, work the cauldron, things like that. He's been quite a help around here. The Zarab lets out a rattling chirrup and bars its teeth in you at what you guess is intended to be a cheerful expression. Do you have anything for sale? Certainly, look. Okay, let's see what she has. Uh, we're full up on supplies. Supplies! Uh, looks like we can sell some uh, uh, loot. I will do that at the end of this episode so you don't have to sit here and watch me do that. Greetings. Scroll back. Alfra sent me here. She says that you know some way to in ensure that her child is not uh, hollowborn. Uh, more of Lord Raedric's frightened flock. She nods slowly. You are kind to come all this way. Poor Alfra must be beside herself. I imagine she gave you something for payment? Whatever it is, you keep it. I don't need coin. I need you to do something for me instead. Ranga points inland. There's a Zarup tribe to the northeast led by one of their priests. Tana was exiled from there some time ago, and their scouts still lurk about this place, waiting for an opportunity to end his life. The Zarep lets out a rattling squawk, head drooping. One day I'll have to go for supplies, and I'll come back to find my assistant slain. How will I help anyone then? She shakes her head. You rid me of this nuisance, and I will do what I can for Alfra. And throw in something for you, too. Alright, I'll come back when it's done, is what we shall say. Good, good. You'll find them easily enough, I think. She smiles, barring sharp teeth. Good luck. Clear the Zarips. 
Do 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 do. Oh, one of the other things I wanted to mention in this game, I, I forgot to do while we were in the temple when it was still relevant, is one of the major themes in this game is yeah. religion, apart from parenthood. Uh, but the interesting thing about this is that uh, this game, it does, of course, level criticism at those who have religion. It also levels criticism and introspection of those who do not. Um, so it's not as simple as like, oh, religion bad. Uh, but it, it really tries to take a look at pe uh, the kind of people who have it, the kind of people who don't have it, um, and it seeks to, to get into the complex, uh, complex nature of some of those questions. And it's fascinating stuff. Um, we're actually going to explore this cave, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Loading screen, loading screen. We all love the loading screen. Okay. Let's go sneaky, sneaky. Oh, right. Okay. We're going to save. These things can get a little interesting. I'm going to save a new file because I'm still a little bit hesitant about my uh, about my settings. Okay, this big one over here, he can take over uh, people. And that's one of the things that Resolve is really helpful against, is it helps you resolve yourself not to uh, get taken over by an enemy. So we want to get as close as possible. We're just going to do dank stuff. Okay. Holy Radiance, Endurance is, of course, what it is. We want... Halt. Holy Meditation. Oh, it's Will, I think. Let's, let's actually... Let's actually take a look at this real quick. Uh, Will? Let me also do, uh, let's see, Will... Mental, yeah, it's it's resolve that that we want. So, let's see if we have anything that boosts resolve. Um, doesn't look like at the moment. Ah, there we go. Increasing the might and resolve of allies uh, for a specific period of time. So let's go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, you are going to. Power blast these folks. Okay, and you're going to power blast them again. And you are going to do swift strikes. Ah, see, we uh, he's he's confused. Even though we have that resolve on him. Yeah. Okay. My Letta's minor missiles. Okay. Give me another one. You. Let's see here. I have to. Re I'm going to refresh myself on spells for the priest afterwards. Because a lot of them are very useful. Okay. Now let's see what else we can do. Necrotic Lance. Let's go ahead and pop that on this one. Get Swift Strikes back going. Oh, see, he's also confused. Oh, uh, dag nebbit. Okay. We are actually going to go ahead and do our Holy Radiance. Dag Spore. Uh, let's go ahead with another Necrotic one. Oh, oh, looks like he's done. Okay, cool. Ah, now he's he's done. Okay, you are actually going to go over and punch this thing in the face. Ah, endurance is down. Ah, now we have just have the spore leg to deal with, and we are also going to camp in here. <laughs> so yeah, those types of uh, those types of hey attacks there. are actually the worst. I really do not like them. They they do add an interesting. Uh, Dank spores. Sure. They do add an interesting uh, uh, nice thing to quiet. the game, so I'm glad they put them in there. 
I'm not complaining about that in the least. Moss and, moss and mold cover the bones like a blanket. They smell earthy and wet. So we have here, dead adventurer. What do we have here? Meat. Oh, that's a little morbid. I guess not nearly as morbid as, uh, say, tooth and tail. Uh, Warbo. Hey there. A Borwo. Wow, wow. Okay. As I mentioned, we are going to camp here. Rest. Okay. Let's go out. Oh, I caught it. I, I really like Christmas. Um, I know that it was way too early to hear Christmas music, but every once in a while, I, I just catch myself in the habit of, like, <laughs> I mean, one of those tunes and I don't even realize it, and I feel so guilty afterwards. I, I, <sighs> enough said about that. I will have better, better restraint in the future. Okay. Let's, uh, a ghoul. Ghoul. We have here on the alarm. Uh, vessel flesh. Mm, let's see. Uh, let's actually go up here and deal with the Zarips, and then we'll explore south, and I think that will be the end of the episode. Oh, you see. <sighs> oh, CB, sorry if that was too loud. Holy cow. A fine arbalest, Fulvano's letter. How is it that so grand a journey as mine should lead me here? The people of Deerwood call this pitiable lagoon a sight to see, but all I have experienced here is misfortune. I thought to explore the cavern by the waters, only to discover it was home to spoilings. I went to see the vaunted compass and lost the bulk of my letters when I tripped over some driftwood. And at last I made to inspect the dragon skulls nearby, only to be menaced by some foolish little Zorabs. I'll return to Gilded Vale as soon as I catch my breath. At least the Zarps do not appear to have fallen. No, they did. Dead Valian. And a fine Arbalest. We're actually going to give our ranged attack to Mr. Durance here. Hey there. Uh, because we don't want him to end. As in, end his end Durance. <laughs> not the best pun I've ever come up with. But it worked. It worked. Ish. We're actually going to give Durance fire on him because he is quite good at uh, you know, blowing things up and working with fire and all that. So, a mother's bee. Okay. Stash. Pistachio. Okay. Let's see what we have to eat here. The clam shells and crab carapaces litter the coals. Let's see what we have in this tent. Uh, got some stoof. Stufficles? Okay. Now let's go over and deal with these ghouls, and I think we'll call that an episode. Uh, let's get back into marching formation. At the center of a ring of jagged stone, this boulder casts long shadows across the sand as the sun moves overhead. So it's like a, a little uh, sundial. Hey, wonderful. Okay, cool. Mm, punching uh, views in the stupid face. I don't think this would be too much of an issue, even though Durant seems to be getting a little low. Ah, well, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give him that ranged weapon now. Uh, oh, he already has a, a rod. Okay, yes. You are going to do that. Uh, and that's average speed, 12 to 18. Where did that arbalest go? Okay. Very slow, 28 to 41. Yeah, let's let's actually go ahead and do that. I know it's a slower uh, attack speed, but for now, mm -hmm. sometimes it's just easy. okay. Got those two taken up uh, by my two front liners here. I'm gonna 
punch some ghouls in the face. That's just how Peter Voss deals with these. The, the monk Peter Voss deals with these issue, issues. He's not the Papa Fox in this. He hey is there. the punchy fox. Fox puncher. Okay. A page from Fulfano's Travels. While traveling towards the Gilded Vale, I encountered a fellow traveler of some considerable intelligence, and we engaged in some pleasant conversation. It came to light that the poor fellow had the most ex ex execrable pair of boots upon him. I gave him one of my spare sets that he might better appreciate uh, Valian craftsmanship. May they serve him well, for he said he was intended to cross the wilderness known as the Black Meadow. I cannot imagine if it is. I cannot imagine it is a pleasant place. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Which we will see soon. Okay. Helms. More stuff. And... More stuff here. We got a morning star. Potion of fleet feet. Fleet feet. Feety fleet. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here on the old ticker. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we're actually going to call this an episode, so if you've enjoyed, go ahead and feel free to hit that like button, or give me some feedback if there's something you'd uh, want to comment on. Of course, uh, subscriptions to the channel are also always nice if you enjoy my other work. It's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you come back next time and pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity. In the next episode, we're going to talk to this here uh, ex-midwife and healer, and uh, return to the Gilded Vale and hopefully uh, get a quest reward out of all of this. Alrighty, you take care now. Bye.